vibe is fucking amazing. That's the only kind of VR that I'd be interested in. You gotta have something to do with your hands. Because, like, I don't want to... If I'm, if I'm doing virtual reality, I don't want a fucking controller in my hands. Uh, like, it, it, maybe. I, I can, it depends, maybe. I can get it, but it's not as good. Yeah. Because at some point, just start I'll, playing. We'll start it where you talk about. <laughs> where you're talking about? Well, we can start it right there. VR. Go. Oh yeah. Um, because like at some point I'll be sitting there and I'll be like, oh, this is so I'm so in the game, and then it's like, what am I doing? I'm holding the controller, and then I'll just be out of it, and then like everything will like light up around me, and it'll be like, because I was in a simulation, and once you realize you're in the simulation, the can you it. imagine? Yeah, but imagine like a horror game. I mean, yeah, it would be, it would still be interesting because the Google, the cardboard that I have is still interesting. It's still fun to play with. But if I'm going to invest a decent amount of money, I mean, I'm not going to because I'm not going to buy anything right now. But at some point when I end up investing some money on virtual reality, if it sticks coming up. Um, I would love it for racing games. Well, yeah, and that see, and that makes sense too. No, yeah, because you're like, a steering wheel. Yeah, if you have a steering wheel, that would be cool too. Yeah. But if I'm going to invest a lot of money into something like that, three, four hundred dollars, I want it to be something that is a little bit more than sitting with a controller and a nice looking screen that makes it look from there. Because at some point, it's going to be unless it's racing. It may be. I don't know. It's, it's going to be interesting to see how it pans out at the end of the year. Oh, it really. I mean, it's really going to. It, like to see if it actually, if it's gonna be like the Kinect, where the like where it's a cool experience, but there's not enough games, and you don't, you know, you don't really wanna. Yeah, like it's like the Kinect, motion controls, all that stuff is an interesting and has been a fun concept at some point. But it never became the norm. Everyone still preferred to play, like they preferred to play regular games, the the regular way. Yeah, I don't think I don't think VR will become the norm. No, definitely. Not. It won't become the normal. I, I want to know How big it's if it's going to be able to be more than just a connector motion controls. Yeah. I'll be really interested in seeing that. Um, I think eventually at some point it will, but I don't know if it'll be this soon because it's still expensive. And it's going to be expensive for a while. And it's still not perfect because you can see the screens aren't good enough yet. Good enough at a reasonable price to be... Because apparently that's why people didn't like the... Especially the dev kit two of Oculus. Oculus because it was it was like they were not that good of screens. That's why the new Oculus, whenever they came out with the real version, the price went up so much mm -hmm. because they were like the screens weren't good enough. Like people, either you want shitty screens and not have a good experience, or you have to pay more. And I, I mean, I think that they did the best thing they could with it. But I, I mean, the fucking vibe is. I wish I could use one. I would love to use one. Yeah, I just like one. I just like want to use it because I could like if I had it, I could set it up in here and it would be it would work <laughs> well because I have a decent amount of space. Because you put the little things in the corners of the room, it would work pretty well. But I don't have eight hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> My PC could run it though. Yeah. I mean, it says that it can. Um. Oh, I was talking about in the last episode about Jumanji the remake and how dumb it is. Um. The Rock is directing it and writing it, and he's also starring in it, oh. and Jack Black is also in it. That's weird. It's weird, and I really wish that it wasn't happening, because the recent things that The Rock has made slash starred in are not that good. It's not like it's, <laughs> I mean, it's not like the old Jumanji still isn't there. Why does it matter if they make it? Well, it's just because, like, I mean, in the end, it really doesn't matter for her. Because you're right, it's still there. It's just that, and I'm not a person to be like sentimental about movies. It's just kind of stupid to me that I, I literally it's just a cash grab. Like that's straight up. You wrecked up. I mean, it's the same thing with the Ghostbusters thing. Like it's not a problem because like the old one's still gonna be there, the new one's gonna be shit, and nobody's not really gonna like it. So it's not really the problem. It's just like it's just sad. And I mean, it is a to some people it is a problem because some people like hold stuff like that like really near and dear to their hearts. Like if they were to fucking like like fucking banjo kazooie, and they made nuts and bolts, 
and that's a little bit different because people wanted a sequel. They wanted three. So never mind. I don't use that example. But like, okay, here, here's a good example with the new Power Rangers movie. Um, nobody's sure how it's going to be yet, but so far it's at, like shaping up to not be looking that terrible. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of exciting because. I loved the original. I can't. I haven't hit any of these. Yeah, no, I, I don't even know how to get to them. Yeah. Um, I am wall riding all. Of them. What the fuck? Oh, I got it though. Um, like I really loved the first Power Rangers movie. It was fucking amazing. It's like a really big part of my childhood, and I'm really excited that they're seeming like they're putting a lot of effort and time. And I can't get any of these things. Yeah. They're putting a lot of time and effort into trying to make this thing good. And it's really exciting. And it's just something like that that they could possibly do or could have done with Ghostbusters. But now they're not. And it's going to be shit. It's kind of like a... It could have been good. There could have been something else with this series. But instead, since it didn't work out, you're trying to just make as much money off of it as possible. My mouth tastes like I just had a bowl of cereal. But I didn't. So weird, weird thing. That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> All I had was a burger and uh, another I keep burger. That, I still keep not hearing what you. I know you're saying burger now. You know that stupid fucking Pink Panther movie? Oh yeah, that's shit too. A burger. That's what I was getting. Uh, at. I never saw it. I just saw the so preview. Bad. I just saw the preview. That's another thing. Uh, I think um, somebody on Reddit posted it. It was just like. Um, in a time of all of these, damn it! In a time of all of these shitty remakes, let's not forget about all these other shitty remakes. And it was just a bunch of like movies. I was like, wow, I forgot about those. Like the Pink Panther was one of them, and um, I'm gonna look at it because there was a, there was a lot. Like it was like a full page. There was like thirty of them. Special. Indy Nosebone. I think one of the problems why we're not gaining that much. That many points. You need to hold them. Yeah, we're not <laughs> waiting long enough. I don't know what that was, but you got an A somehow, even though you were like sliding down the wall. Time. Oh damn, that was a really high wall ride. I got it. What's it called? Oh, zone bone. <laughs> zone bone. <laughs> I thought it was called a nose bone because I saw you were doing that trick. Nose bone. Oh, a train. That train is always there. It's always moving to the right. You're kidding me. I mean, they couldn't have snapped you that ramp like two pixels over. I mean, they could snap me like literally everywhere else. Yeah. Well, I still haven't gotten bronze yet. Oh, you could have just kept going around that fountain. I'm not going the wrong way. You got 40 seconds. Uh, did ooh. I get it? No. Ooh. Did I? Oh, so close. Yes, I so close. Oh, damn it. I'm going to do it again. I don't know. They fucked it with Zathura. Now they're going to fuck it with the Raw. Because his movies are not. I mean, he. I guess he really likes doing movies. But there's not really much I've seen him in that's good at all. Like, there's like Walk Tall, which was decent. Uh, I th- walking I think, Tall, yeah. Yeah, I think it was pretty decent. I can't really remember that well. I mean, even though the Fast and Furious movies are what they are, they're, I think some of them are pretty good. I mean, they're not terrible, good. but he's also in, even only, though he he's wasn't only in the in, last one. Nah. He's in all of them? He's not, not in all, all of them, but he's been in, like, he's, he's in it at least five is what the first time I saw See, him. but he's not in the good one. You he's know not the, in Tokyo. Dream. That's the good one, though. Tell because it's is different. It's awesome. It's different. Yeah. Like, all of the other ones are the exact same, except for that one, and that's why that one's the good one. And that was only the second one, I think. I think it's the third one. Oh. That was a good one. That is good. That's the good one, I'm telling it you. It was cool because he was doing it in a muscle car. Yeah, and drifting is cool as hell. All right. Like, it's such a, like, more than likely dangerous thing to do. I could have fucking swore I could close that and turn that off. But it's so fucking cool to watch. Thanks for the Ethan the Healer update. Wow, that was cool. Did you see that? Yeah, you went through those stalagmites. I thought you said the right one. I don't know what he's doing. Um, actually, they're stalagmites. 
See, and isn't that the, caused by like dripping or something? Yeah. Dripping, drip, drip, drip. Give me that sip. Give Which me, give is me fucking that drip. crazy. Yeah, have you ever drip. been into a cave like that? Where the fuck would I have been into a cave like that? Like, there's like ones, they're like tours that you can take in like Virginia and stuff. I've never been to Virginia. Well, I didn't know. There's probably shit like that in Ohio. Or... No, I think in Ohio is cornfields. <laughs> and Cleveland. And the Football <laughs> Hall of Fame. Yeah, and Cleveland's kind of not really. Nobody likes Cleveland. Yeah, I People can't who think like of... Cleveland don't like Cleveland. Hey anyway. guys! Oh shit! Uh, hey, hey! Uh, I'm Cleveland. That's my Cleveland. Um. Oh. Well, uh, we were there in. I was in Virginia, I think, with my dad because he was working. Okay, yeah. that was weird. He was working in Virginia at the time. You got it. You got it. You got it. Pump him! Pump him! Hold him! There you go. Hmm. Heel flip. I don't know how you hold a heel flip, but. I wasn't getting any more multiplayers. You're right. You right. Well, we were in Virginia. And we went to one of the like a, a oh a um a cave tour, and it was one of those caves with like stalactites and stalagmites in it, and it was fucking awesome, and it was so fucking um dark in there. Like goddamn, it was so dark. It was the darkest I've ever seen. It was really cool. Did this stalactites spell out a message to Fry? That was an episode of Futurama. I don't remember. It was like something to do with time travel and Leela like she like knew that this cave was eventually gonna be a uh, thing with stalagmites in it, so she like chose where the water was gonna drip and wrote out a message to Fry. That was one of the like emotional things. There's like every once in a while there's an episode of Fry, uh, Futurama that like fucking gets you. Yeah, and they're good though. Yeah. Like with that, the, the dog. Yeah, the dog's like the dog's like the famous one, but there's, yeah. there's, there's a, a lot, lot of them, yeah. With his brother or whatever. Oh, man, where, now, that, I think that one's my favorite. Where he like hated his brother, but then he realized because he's like he stole my name and it was his fucking son. God damn, that's yeah. so good. <laughs> God, that's good. Fuck, got fucking gooseys on me. And the one where Leela's Leela said her parents aban- parents abandoned oh, her. Oh, and she finds him because they got fucking sent down to the suit. Si- that's a good show. Yeah, I love Futurama. But like. Throughout their whole, throughout, throughout her whole life, they were like watching her, like yeah. from the sewers, like keeping track of her and shit. I, want, I need to watch Futurama. I haven't watched it in a long time. It's a really good show. Um, I love Futurama. Got canceled like four times. I know. Um, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. I was with Justin. I was driving him home from Ethan's last the other day, mm-hmm. and I was Oops, talking fun. about. Oh, this is the um, Armando. This is where you get this dude, the best guy. Come on. We have to start. Um, and I was telling him about a, um, uh, what is it called? Oh, shit. The Twilight Zone episode? Yeah. Have you watched any Twilight Zone? Or any? I've seen a few episodes. Um, I don't particularly remember the name of the episode. Uh, it's my favorite episode. It's one of, like, the most highest, one of the highest rated, rated ones. It's called, um, something about time, like, nothing, nothing but time, or, um, I'm going to go real quick. Twilight Zone. It's called Time Enough at Last. And it starts out, and it's just like a regular guy. Um, and he, like, he loves to read books. It's like his favorite thing to do. And it starts off with him reading a book at work. Then his boss starts to yell at him and gets mad at him because he should be working and not reading. Even on his lunch break, his boss doesn't let him read. And he fucking hates it. Damn, that's short. You lost, Tony. Oh, wait, no, you didn't. You think I still got him? Uh huh. We already have him. Oh. <laughs> um. So, uh, he loves to read, and he goes home, and before dinner, he starts to read, and his wife bitches at him because she doesn't want him to read because she tells him it's not good for him, and she's just fucking. She's just she's just bitching at him. Uh huh. And uh, he, I think he wakes up. And it has basically been like, <laughs> just to win, just to get a bronze, it's just hit finish line. All the other <laughs> times and just hit finish line, just finish. Um, eel watching. But, uh, like a bomb goes off or they got invaded by another country and like everything is gone, like buildings are crumbled and every, like nobody's there except for him. Um, and like the only building that's left standing is a library and he he like 
he goes into the library and he like finds all these books that he really wants to read and he starts reading them and then it like does a little time skip and he's been like reading books and he has a stack and he just finished one and he goes to pick up another book off the ground and his glasses fall off and he steps on them and so he can't read it anymore. oh yeah I remember that and then like it ends wow it ends with him he's just like there was finally enough time and then it just like pans away it's so fucking good but jo- I, I explained that to him he was like there's another show where that happens yeah maybe and I was like there's a lot of shows where that happens <laughs> I was like, it's a very popular thing to do with shows to take Twilight Zone episodes and make them into, a, like, a cartoon. Um, and he looked up that episode, and it, on that episode of Wikipedia, it literally has a, damn it, it literally has a tab that says other shows and pop culture. And it shows the list of all the shows that have done that. There are so many. There's Spongebob, Family Guy, Futurama. Spongebob? They did the glasses thing? Yeah. Spongebob, or they like referenced it, the, but the one he was thinking of was the was the Family Guy one, where yeah. something happens to Peter and he like, or something happens to somebody and it kills all their brain cells, and there's one left, and he's got glasses on and he's like, ah, oh, finally time to read. Oh. <laughs> he's like, enough time to to read, and then he steps on his glasses and he says the same line. But that was one he was in. But yeah, SpongeBob. I don't really know what that one was, and it didn't have a re- like. Most of them had a link to either the episode or that part. Make it, make it, make it, make it. You bastard! Fuck you! I have a link, or like, to the episode Wikipedia, but the one for Spongebob just said Spongebob. Hmm. It didn't even have a hyperlink to Spongebob the show, it just said Hmm. Spongebob. Spongebob. That's it. But it wouldn't surprise me if Spongebob did, because it's such a popular thing to take. Twilight Zone. It's fantastic. Hmm. That's the sixties, man. Yeah, Twilight Zone is good. That's there's some really good Twilight Zone episodes. But as well in the nineties, there's some really fucking good um Tales from the Crypt episodes. You ever watch Tales from the Crypt? I don't know. That's some good shit. It was but it was literally just like nineties Twilight Zone. Just it, it was it was kinda themed to be a little bit more creepy. Mm-hmm. But, like, for the opening, what happened was, like, there was, like, this, like, dead guy. He basically just, like, was an undead person. He's, like, a skeleton with a little bit of skin on him. And he would always open a book, and it was basically him telling you a story. Did I not? Okay, I hit it. I'm still gonna fail. This is hard. <laughs> um, so on the next episode, I think, mm-hmm. right? The next episode, we'll pick this back up. This is still happening. 